Hello folks. Well, as many of you know, I'm having lots of fun with my T580 quadcopter from Nitroplane. So I have not had a single problem with it. There are a few doomsday sayers out there who tell me I will. And having been involved in electronics just about all my life, I've come to the conclusion from my experience that with electronic equipment, if it works for five minutes, it'll probably work for five years. However, overstressing speed controllers, causing excess heat, that's the biggest killer of electronics. So I decided to investigate the T580 under the hood and take some flight temps of the FETs. I also decided to make my own heat sink and cooling mods just to be sure and I'll show you my results. Okay, let's check the temperature of those FETs. One forty four, one forty five, one forty one, one forty two, one fifty. Boy, that, that board gets hot. Well, my heatsink consists of a copper tube with a flat ground on it and contact via amazing goop aligned across the power transistors. I've also added a solder wrap to add a few extra fins in the area. Okay, let's see what the ambient temperature is here. 83, 84, 84. We're gonna fly for one minute. We'll turn this on and we'll check that temperature again. Let me plug this in. wind blows around in here so much you can't believe it all right I'm gonna set the timer okay at the first beep that's one minute I will land and then we'll check the temperature There's one minute. Okay. We'll check the temperature. Well, those are way cooler than those 140s in the first flight. Let's try it outside. This flight is three minutes, so that's three times longer than the flight inside. We'll check the temperatures afterwards and see how it does with this typical flight.
Well, what I've found here is the T580 is a pretty good entry-level quad with brushless motors. In my opinion, though, the gyros are just way too sensitive and there's no way to adjust them. So for that reason, it's a little jumpy and it's not as good in the wind or as a good photo platform. It is, however, an absolute blast to fly if you see me do. Let's take a look at the temps now after this three minute flight. Okay, after that flight, let's see what these FETs say. I feel some heat right here. This is the front where the heat is, so I put some cooling holes in there. If this was white, you're flying on a hot day, it might help. If you guys are out flying on a hot day. All right, let's see what my my cooling thing says here. 131, 137, 133, 129, 128, 127. The copper tube. 115 here. Yeah, that works good. That definitely keeps it cooler. Yeah, I'd recommend doing that. Some cooling holes in the fins, paint the top white. Well, it's gusty. All right, drop the bomb. Here we go. Well, any heat prevention is better than none. I've satisfied myself with my own design and don't intend to do any hot rotting anyway. There are other ways to cool the fets, I'm sure, but for now I hope this may help any future buyers with their decision. And thanks very kindly for watching.